This is the Bluetooth. I don't even know which part it is. It has been a while, like uh, almost half a year, maybe longer. But finally, finally I put the stuff in the box. <laughs> and uh, I, I play with it way too long. And th the reason is, what I should not forget is that this is just something that's supposed to be fun. And um, for a teenager uh, on her desk to play some music while uh, making homework or whatever, you know. Uh, and it's not a, a high-end planar magnetic system in any way. It's just a Bluetooth speaker. So I thought about it and, uh, you know, like, okay, it doesn't reach low. It doesn't have much bass. It's almost impossible to have much bass. I mean, this panel is like one eighth of uh, my, one of my full ranges. Uh, it plays down to 80 hertz, like sort of at the same level. Nah, 100, I think. Then it drops off, and the resonance is at 50 hertz. So it still does, or 60 hertz, I don't know. But so it's still there, just a tiny bit. But uh, yeah, it's not a full range, uh, huge planar magnetic speaker. So I should, you know forget that idea of, of getting there because it's not gonna happen of course but this is uh, what I um, I made I used the uh, I'll zoom in a little bit and uh, focus so it is the Bluetooth amplifier um, I used the spray a lot of glue in there and drop all uh, all pieces in place uh, like the, this is like a proper way of doing it probably not but it is quite nice it is it is stuck and as I said it's not a high-end system it's just something that is gonna play some music in the background uh, there is a cap here that I added for the low end and the reason is I want to um, filter the low end a little bit so it doesn't try to make uh, play 50 or 30 hertz um, sine waves and such because the pan panel will try and it will hit the magnets but it's not gonna sound good anyway so rather don't don't try just don't try so um, yeah uh, then there's a tiny cap and a resistor for the tweeter panel because it's way playing way louder than uh, at the base panel when filtered because the surface area is so small uh, and the same goes for the other uh, channel so left and right and uh, the mid bus portion shares the same membrane so it's like a bit like these car woofers that had two coils like a dual coil subwoofer and you use one coil for left and one coil for right and so you don't have to have a uh, you know equipment that that combines these two channels so it does it by uh, well just acoustically so that's quite a nice cheap solution I think um, well I do like the whole uh, layout and stuff so I'm pretty pleased with it I mean yeah uh, here are some screws still I will use some of these um, bull nose I don't know the round ones that look a bit nicer. Uh, of course there's gonna be a cover here. I'm gonna staple the leftover fabric on the bottom. Maybe add some uh, feet of rubber feet, I don't know yet. And then there's one thing left. That's actually the sides. I still have to determine what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, probably some wood. But I'm not sure what would yet. So this is going to be folded over like this. Stretched and all. Uh, but some wood. I thought maybe some, you know, this is raw material, but, you know, maybe like some, some light wooden trims, but less bulky as, uh, as they are now. So maybe this or maybe even thinner I think thinner maybe half of that just for aesthetics I think it's nice 
So yeah, uh, that's what up. And uh, I will let it play some music since I got this zoom recorder now. So you get more like a better idea of what, what this thing can do. And especially also what it can't do. Because it's not a full range system. It plays full range. But actually it should be a, a mid range. And then even a, a mid range that doesn't go very low. If you've seen the, the case project. The, the planar I used there. It's like uh, two, two times this size, maybe two and a half. And it plays down to 100 hertz. And this one plays down to 50 and uh, with, with some volume down to 100 or something or 80. So yeah, this one is really working really hard and very inefficient. So this Bluetooth thing, and that's the nice part, is, is two times 30 watts. So it's quite a lot of uh, power. For a tiny speaker and it's needed because uh, half of it I throw away in these uh, filter components yeah but uh, yeah really small update and um, the next thing I will do is create these sides staple the bottom at the top at the new screws and then I'm done and then I'll uh, play uh, play a tune or so in a different video because you know how it goes uh, will be marked as uh, copyright stuff and so and I have a lot of videos that have copyrighted stuff in it <laughs> so uh, yeah I won't get any money for that if I even reach the 1000 subscribers but it would be nice to have just a tiny bit of money to buy some new stuff and such so it is time that I take into account the copyright music stuff as for now, I didn't really much care because it's. I like like to make new videos and uh, I'm not earning anything with it anyway, so I don't care. But yeah, I'm pleased so far. Um, gonna finish it tomorrow because it's quite late already, and uh, yeah, I like it, and I hope she likes it as well. It has. Been <laughs> It has been a very long time and also it got way more expensive than I wanted. It, it started off as a present, but it's gonna be a well, way more expensive present than I um, initially uh, thought. But that's okay because uh, I'm pretty late with this present. She's all <laughs> her birthday is all way, uh, almost um, yeah, it's like a month away again. So, hmm. It's got to be two birthdays presents in one, I guess.